Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So why is my hand shaking so much? Let's just pop you down, that's better. Um, so I've got the, um, I've had quite a few requests recently to do like an updated house tour since we've kind of been changing a few bits in the house. It's nothing major, um, but we've changed like some of the decor, um, added a few new bits of furniture, new sofas, things like that. And I haven't done a house tour. I think my first ever video on here was a house tour. Um, and that was literally like just over three years ago. So I filmed a house tour for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, we have a small three beds, semi-detached house. Um, we live down on the South Coast near Bournemouth um, and prices are like higher obviously not London prices but they are higher down here so you don't get as much for your money as if we maybe lived elsewhere um, but this is what we have down here and we are very lucky and grateful um, we do want to move to a four bed eventually but at the moment with like mortgage prices going up and stuff we are staying put um, but yeah I will show you our little house um we live here with our two boys who are one and three um so there's a lot of storage needed for toys and things like that um so i'll also show you sort of like our storage hacks how we kind of make more space for the toys what we've added to store everything in so it still looks nice and everything can be tidied and hidden away at the end of the day um not that i don't want it to look like my kids live here but I do just like an adult space for the evenings um, just to relax in and it's just nice to have a place to put everywhere, everything, you know? Um, so yeah, let's get into the house tour and I will show you our little house. So come in into the hallway. The hallway was one of the selling points of the house for me. I literally love a nice spacious hallway. I couldn't imagine having a house without like a long hallway. I'm quite traditional in, I like a traditional layout in a house. So I do like that we have, you come into the hallway first. Like I couldn't have a house where like, for me personally, where like the stairs are off the lounge or you come straight into the kitchen or something like that. I love to have this hallway first. Um, it sounds really silly, but I just like a traditional layout. So yeah, anyway, this is our hallway. As you can see, it's quite different to when I last filmed the house tour so we've now got this console table here please ignore that basically I was decorating the hallway before Christmas and um accidentally knocked over my reed diffuser and there was a comb on here and it got stuck to it so I actually need to paint the top of this because it's kind of ruined it <laughs> um but yeah we got this console table that was from Amazon I've got the Zara dupe like stone ceramic -y vase over there that was only £25 in the range. So that was, I think I got that a couple of months ago. And then I just got the fake olive branches from Team U, which actually look, I was really surprised. They look really good. Um, and then this lamp, this like, um, what do you call it? Like concrete effect lamp was from a website called Charles Ted. It was a bit spenny, but I do love it. <laughs> and then we've just got a throw basket under there. I don't know why I'm going to change this up and put something more useful there. But at the moment, we've just got that. Um, that's just our little water stopcock thing in there. Key hooks. We've got a little cupboard here, which I might show you guys, actually. I'm not sure if I showed it last time. Um, ignore the coats hung up in there, but this is where we keep all of our coats and shoes. We've just got this shoe storage thing on the back of the door. More shoes in those shelves there. We've got Hoover, mop, ironing board, duster, iron. <laughs> just everything like that really just it's a bit of a mess i need to tidy it up it is the smallest cupboard in the whole entire world and it's the only cupboard we have in this house so yeah love that for us um yeah nice big mirror just to open the space up a little bit and then a lot of you have asked me on instagram where these frames were from these were from h&m home um and then i just bought the extra large mounts for them to give like a gallery wall effect because i wanted like quite a small picture in them I just think it looks better um yeah ignore that vase Joel actually knocked that off the other day and broke the bit off the top so I do need to replace that so that will be getting replaced soon but yeah just a little bit of reality for you that is just life with toddlers um so yeah and that is our hallway then we come through into the downstairs toilet that's where you go through to the dining room I love the fact it's like 
goes round in like a big circle. So it's really good when the kids are chasing each other because we just kind of like go round in circles. I don't know why, I just really like that. So this is the downstairs toilet. Again, we decorated this the same color as the hallway. I think it was um, Wedding Cake by Valspar. It's just like a sort of a muted gray color. Um, I've added my little olive tree in here. I'm just so glad we got rid of all the wallpaper, guys. I just wasn't really feeling it anymore. Um, yeah, my little olive tree. This is Joel's little stool that the boys use when they're washing their hands or helping in the kitchen. I did get a bit of paint on here that I need to clean off. This was actually made for him by a friend of my mum's when he was born. Um, so yeah, a lot of people ask me where this is from, but obviously it was just made for him by a friend. But it's very handy when they're washing their hands and helping in the kitchen and things like that. Little shelf there. This set was from Matalan. Got that a few months ago. Love that. Um, and yeah, that's where the magic happens, guys. So yeah, little downstairs toilet is basically what you'd call like the cupboard under the stairs, but they've just done it as a downstairs loo. So that is our downstairs loo. And it is a good size, to be fair, because obviously with our house being a new build, the hallway and the, the downstairs toilet and stuff have to be built for wheelchair access I think it's like the building regs so it is quite a big space in there but yeah it just looks so much better since we decorated it sorry I sound a bit out of breath filming this because Steve's decided that he's going to work from home today he's just gone to drop Reuben at my mum's house which is about 20 minutes away um because I'm actually off work today but she's still going to have him and um, I'm trying to get this film before he gets back because I had plans to film this today and he's just told me he's going to work from home. So obviously we don't want all his computers out on the dining table while I'm filming. So I'm just trying to get this done really quickly. So yeah, then we come into our living room. If you guys look back at my last house tour, which was, like I said, like three years ago or something, three and a half years ago now, it was so different in here. I've never been happy with this room and everything we've been doing to it recently. I now absolutely love it. I feel like it's got a lot more character. It's not bland. We've got rid of a lot of the gray and gone for like more muted tones. Why does my spotlight look like it's flashing on camera? It's not, I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, this is our living room. So we did have another, we had like two gray sofas in here before. The cream was a bit of a gamble with the kids, but I actually really like it. It's just brightened up the room so much and we've got the stain guard like protection on it. So it's, it was only like two pound a month extra to get that. So obviously we went for that because you just can't trust these little kiddies. Um, our sofas were from DFS. We've had them for about two months now. And this footstool is actually a storage one. Sorry, I've just moved it this morning. So there's some marks in the carpet. Um, but this is where we keep, you know, like laptops, tablets and all of their like bulkier toys. So like the farm and things like that. So that's one really handy way of storing the kids toys out of sight when they're not playing with them. But yeah, this is our three seater. Ignore that mark on the wall. Steve had to sand something the other day. So I actually need to paint over it because, again, we decorated this room or I decorated this room just before Christmas. Um so yeah, he just, there was a little, I can't remember what he had to sand. I think he had to fill a hole or something. And yeah, we just added these pictures, like another sort of gallery type wall. This is the newborn photo shoot, both of the boys' newborn photo shoots. And these were our favourite pictures from those. Little family one in the middle there, which I love. Um, yeah, got a throw, throw and cushion basket there. Little armchair, which is lovely with a footstool actually. The cat has definitely taken an interest in this one. Got an extra side table in the corner now. Just having that second lamp in the other corner, just honestly in the evenings, just brightens up this room so much. So having two lamps in your living room is definitely a good idea. Then, because we don't have the sofa anymore along here, which used to come, like our old sofa used to come to like here, so there was barely any room for the kids to play. Um, they now have this little area behind the door. I actually need to pack that away or sell it because... Um, obviously Ruben's not really using it now so that's gonna go away next week or maybe today I don't know depends what time I get um, but this is the kids play kitchen ice cream bar um, hoover <laughs> kids hoover they like to help me when I'm hoovering um, so yeah that's just there and yeah got another side table over here which matches the other one uh, baby monitor 
oil, electric oil diffuser, which I love. I got that for Christmas. Um, my olive tree, which I'm still obsessed with, and the kids' toy box. So there's all sorts of stuff in here. So my kids definitely do have toys, guys. That is full of stuff. And this lounge during the day when the kids are here, you can't even walk because there's just toys everywhere. So please don't think that my house looks like this all the time. This is purely because my kids are at childcare for the day. And yeah, we added our media wall. When did we add that? 2021, we added that. Um, so we've had that for, God, nearly three years now. That's crazy. Um, so obviously we've got the electric fire, which looks lush in the evenings. We put it on even in the summer, to be honest, just without the heat. Um, telly, we added the panelling either side as well. So we did that ourselves. Um, it's super easy to do. We just got some stuff from um, B&Q to do it. It took about two days. Um, so yeah, love that little feature in here. And then coming through to the dining room, which it's not a big space at all, but we've just tried to make the best of it. So we've added these cabinets, as you guys may or may not have seen on my Instagram, if you follow me over there. Um, these were from, I think they were from Homcom. That's the brand. Anyway, they sell them on a few different websites, like Robert Dias and places like that. But um, they're all different prices on different sites. I think these were about £95 per cabinet. So we got four of them because that was how many we could fit um, in here. So they're not quite flush to the wall. But our plan is to box the sides in um, just to make them look a bit more built in. And we've still got spotlights that we need to add underneath each shelf so in the evening it's going to look lush so we've got the spotlights in one of these cupboards Steve just hasn't got round to fitting them yet so hopefully that's a job for this weekend but I just couldn't really put off filming this any longer because I was getting quite a few requests to do an updated house tour since we've kind of changed everything um dining table now I actually want to get um a different dining table for this room this is just old and scruffy now um, it's a very cheap one. My chairs, weren't, they weren't cheap. I absolutely love them, but they are almost like too big for the room. So I can't, I'm kind of going towards like a bench dining table, which will save a lot of space in here. Um, but I don't really want to go like wood colour because we've got like all white furniture in here. So I just don't think it would really go. Um, just showing you my lounge from this view because why not? um yeah it's one of my favorite this is probably like this whole area is like my favorite room in the house now I just love it um so yeah let me know what you think but I need a new dining table and chairs don't need just one <laughs> um but I'm really sad to get rid of my chairs because I do feel like they look really nice in here now we've done everything um but they're just really big for the room and not very practical with kids they were a pre-child purchase probably shouldn't have got them but they look nice so there you go but yeah we've literally got so much storage in here for toys so that's another thing just like sideboards like this is so good for toy storage so again some of the bulkier toys are in there like the running sink and the kinetic sand and the big shape sorters this is their craft cupboard in here so that's got like puzzles, paints. I use one of the Ikea dish stands for all of their colouring and sticker books. These little things were from Teamy. They've got all their crayons in. So yeah, that's their craft cupboard. And it's just so much easier because we had it in Joel's wardrobe before we had like a box for crafts and I had to like bring it downstairs every time he wanted to do them. So it's just a lot easier having it accessible and then we can just sit straight at the table and get on with it. So yeah, I've just kind of decorated these shelves. It's a picture of me and Steve pre-kids when we weren't grey and tired. Um, that's my favourite one from Ruben's newborn photo shoot. Oh my God. Oh, I need to slow down because I sound really out of breath, guys. I'm just trying to rush through this. Um, yeah, just got some decor bits, mainly from Teemu and B&M. Um, more like olive branches little matches, little candle snuffer. That's a picture of Steve's granddad who isn't with us anymore, but yeah, that's what that's his favourite photo of him. So he's got pride of place over there. Ruben's high chair obviously doesn't really go in here. There's not a lot of space, but he won't be in this for much longer. He's wanting to sit on the chair now to copy his big brother. So yeah, that's not going to be here for too much longer. And we've added this radiator cover here, which I wasn't sure whether we'd have enough space for it, but actually it's just tidied up the room really nicely because it just didn't look right having 
like a bare wall and a radiator and no furniture there. So I'll quickly show you the back garden. Obviously it is January, so we haven't been out here for months. It's an absolute mess. This all needs jet washing. But yeah, this is our like bar, pizza oven area, dining table. Um, ignore those tapery balls. They've blown out of the flower beds in the storm. So we need to put them all back in. We've got some olive trees there that we just planted last summer. So they are still growing. Actually, I don't think that one is doing too well. So we need to address that. All my bay trees have died over the winter. So I'm gonna replace those with olive trees. Grass needs cutting, it's like an actual meadow. But those little bits there need to like go to the tip. That's our like corner sofa fire pit area um, and parasol we've got up there as well. The olive trees obviously are really good up there. So they are gonna look like those hopefully by the end of summer. We've got a new shed up there. Barbecue is actually meant to go by the shed. Um, and this is a little kids play area that we built last summer. So we've got their like mud kitchen, the market stall, climbing frame. But yeah, obviously in the summer, it will all be tidied up, but it's a really good size. I do love our garden. Um, it just needs a good tidy because we all know what our gardens get like over the winter. But yeah, we still have plans to extend out onto this patio area. But obviously with the mortgage rates going up, we weren't able to do that this year. I think I talked about it in my last house tour. Um, yeah, that we were going to do it like now, basically. Um, but yeah, mortgage rates have gone up. We can't do it right now because you'll see why I want to extend. If you haven't seen my kitchen before, <laughs> you will understand why I want to extend. So, you know, when some people say they have a tiny kitchen, girl, I literally have a tiny kitchen. <laughs> Oh, this is the room and it sounds really um, snobby, is that the word? I don't know, um, but I am embarrassed of this room because I just think because you see so many houses on Instagram with lovely big kitchens and islands and this room was the compromise for our house. Don't get me wrong, it's lovely and modern. I have actually painted these cabinets and got a bit of paint on the side, but I am covering this with DC Fix. But yeah, it is all... It's all new and modern. It's only five-year-old kitchen. Um, we've added little bits to make it look nicer. Um, but yeah, it's just a very tiny kitchen. Got our air fryer over there. We've hung all our pans up to save cupboard space because we don't have very much cupboard space. Um, yeah, so we've also put these baskets up here from B&M just for extra storage. You know, like bulky stuff like lunch boxes and kids' snack pots and things like that. Um, and again, I think I said this in my last house tour years, all those years ago, I really wish I'd gone for the integrated fridge because we'd only just bought this at the time and then we moved house and we said to the builders, because they were still putting the kitchen in at the time, they said, do you want, like, what appliances are you bringing with you? What spaces do you want us to leave? And we said literally just our fridge because the washing machine we had at the time had just packed up anyway. So we said just, we'll bring the fridge because we've only just bought it and if we sold it, we'd lose money on it. So, um... Yeah, but I really wish I'd got the integrated fridge now because there's just this awkward space, which I hate. So we might, if we can't extend for quite another few years, I might get a bigger fridge just to fill this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but then I'm like, I don't really want to spend money on it because we will, we will be getting a new kitchen, a bigger kitchen eventually. So again, we want to knock through into there. It's going to be a difficult job because the boiler and the extractor are on that wall. Um, there's a radiator the other side as well obviously so it's going to cost money to move all of that but I at least want to put a conservatory on you know, like one with a proper tiled roof we can't do too much out here because we've got a manhole cover on the patio and it will cost tens of thousands of pounds to move that so that we can extend over it um, so actually I think we might have to go for a conservatory but I'd have like where the French doors are, take those out and just have a big open space going into the conservatory. Have this and the dining room is like one big kitchen with an island in the middle and then use that space that we have out there as the dining table um, and maybe like an end for the kids' toys. But that, yeah, that is our plan. <laughs> Another few years, hopefully, and then we can do it. We've only remortgaged for two years this time, whereas before we were on a five-year fixed. So, um yeah, it's looking like interest rates are starting to come down. So hopefully at the end of that time, we can do the work we want to do or we might move house. Um, 
finished, but we will see. So anyway, I'm just rambling on. This is our tiny kitchen. We got this meal planner from TMU or like weekly planner. So we write on here every week. It really helps with like remembering what we're having for dinner every night. It's just a magnetic one, super handy. Um, and that's it, really not much to show you in our tiny little kitchen. Um, but you know, we have a kitchen, we have a home and I'm very grateful for that. But don't ever expect a big extravagant kitchen tour from me anytime soon because you won't be getting it. <laughs> So then we will head upstairs. Um, the thing I love about our landing is that we've got a window. Some landings can feel quite dark, but they definitely did the right thing putting in a window because it just makes it like, really bright and airy. So this is our landing. Just got some wedding photos up there. Um, we've got a storage chest at the top of the stairs. That's where we keep all our spare linen, towels, things like that. Um, and yeah, just going into the bathroom so this is our little bathroom um i say little it's not too bad to be fair um <clears throat> but yeah nothing's really changed in here i've added some like black accessories um yeah these are really handy for storage so i need to put that basket in the loft in a minute so excuse that um yeah these are really handy for storage so we've got like the boys have got a drawer in there with all their products in and yeah we basically have a drawer each and then we also have this really handy cupboard, which is also good for storage. That was tidy a few weeks ago, so I need to retidy it. The boys' bath toys are just in a like a big storage box under there. Um, yeah, that's our bathroom. Not really much else to it. We've got this light. I will change this mirror eventually. It's just the one they put in when they built our house. The cleaner is due tomorrow, so please excuse all of the marks on there. But yeah, it's really handy when you're like plucking your eyebrows and stuff like that because you can see everything in there. But I do want to change it for like a big round mirror. So that will probably be one of the things that we do this year. Um, yeah, bin, <laughs> toilet brush. Um, not really much else to show you. I still love the tiles in here. I've never, I like, I'm not over those yet. Um, so that's probably good because we can't afford to change the bathroom. Um, and then we got this towel storage thing from Amazon um so it just hooks over the back of the door so you don't need to use any like screws or anything and yeah it's just really handy for storing all of our towels obviously when they're wet we just hang them over there but um yeah when we're not using them they just look quite nice like hotel vibes <laughs> so that's the bathroom then going into Jolie Polly's room. So it's just right next to the bathroom. Um, so obviously last time I filmed, this was our spare bedroom because um, we only had Joel and he was a little baby. So he was down there in the nursery, which is now Ruben's room. Can't believe how much has changed in three years. Um, but yeah, we need to take the stair gate off. We don't close it anymore because he can get over it anyway. So we will, that's a job on our to-do to -do list. We need to take that off. But yeah, that's his bed. Um, so we've got a safari theme in here at the moment, but um, I'm actually going to change this for some digger themed bedding and change those prints to like digger themed prints just because it's a bit more grown up, ready for when he starts school in September. I need to rehang that battery pack and redo his lights because he's like pulled them all off. Um, I'm going to get rid of this foliage thing and just have the name sign, just make a few changes in here to make it a bit more big boy room because he's had the safari theme since he was a baby in his nursery and we just moved it across into this room so um yeah that's his wardrobe obviously ball pit this rug needs a good clean we've hired a carpet cleaner for a couple of weeks time um so these will all get like a really good clean um because they are way overdue i've got little labels on all of the baskets um yeah so all of his little toys are in there He's got another toy basket down there with some like bigger toys in. Then we've added the radiator cover in here again. It just looks so much better. Um, his room overlooks the back garden. Um, so it does get really nice and sunny in here in like the evenings. Um, and then I got these baskets from TMU for all of his soft toys. They just store them really nicely. This is his little reading corner. Um, that teddy bear fleecy beanbag chair was from the range I think it was about 50 pounds so we've had that for a year or so now just a little some little shelves um all his soft toys and it's yeah just a cozy little freezing corner for him 
And then we need to put a print up here because we moved the shelves along like literally last week. So we still need to cover all of these filled holes, put a print up, but I haven't done it yet because obviously I'm changing stuff to like digger themes. So um, it won't be too much of a change in here, but just swapping out the safari with the digger theme. I'm still gonna keep things like that lion and the big giraffe because they still look really nice. Um, but yeah, I haven't got a print yet because I'm still deciding what construction site print I want up there. Um, We've got their little shop. That's his and Rubens that they share. They got that for Christmas. That was from Lidl. I still need to pop their names on the little blackboard and make a little sign for them. But yeah, they got their little till, little ice lolly set. And we just pulled this out from the wall because there's like a shopping basket and some weighing scales and a coffee bar behind there. So when they're playing with it, we can just pull it out. They can go behind and yeah. It's quite a nice little area for them to play. Um, it is a really good size room. I think eventually the boys might share this room. Um, and then we'll have Ruben's bedroom, which is down there. It's literally a box room. It's so small. When I hear people talk about box rooms, I'm like, and then I see their box room. <laughs> it's nothing compared to this. It's actually tiny. Um, so, yeah, we might just have that as Steve's office slash my room for drying washing in because let's face it the air it is ugly um but at the moment they're too young to share i think they would just wake each other up so this is very much just joel's room for at least another year and then we might just eventually put them in here together because it's there's more than enough space in here and also i feel bad that joel has such a big room and reuben has such a tiny room so i think moving forward it will be like fairer if they share a room but yeah it's not something we're worrying about too much at the moment. But yeah, that's Jolie's, Jolie's little room. So then we're going down into Ruben's little tiny room. Um, so we've obviously got, we, this is actually a space saving cot, like it's extra small. And then the changer goes on top of it. So it just makes it like it saves a lot of space in here. We've got the drawer underneath as well, where we store all of his nappies and wipes and blankets and stuff. So. Again, that's a good hack for a small nursery. Make sure you get a cot with a drawer. Um, this wallpaper, I liked it when we did the nursery, but I do want to change this room now um, if he stays in here and doesn't go in with Joel. So we will be changing this eventually. More like sage greens and like muted colours. Um, little, he's got his projector under there, which we just slide out at night time. Little nappy caddy changing area. The little stool was from Ikea. Um, we introduced a pillow and a duvet into his cot just before Christmas and he loves it. Um, I always get asked where this was from. It's, um, let me take this off so you can see the full effect. It's um, from a website called Cotterpillar and it was a present for his first birthday from my sister and her boyfriend, which is really cute. But also he tends to like take them all off and throw them around. So <laughs> I'm always picking them back up. Um, yeah, baby monitor, little star, nursery light. We love this, it's really cute. We've had this since Joel was a baby, but yeah, very cute little ceramic light. Um, I think we got it from like value lights or something. It was still about 30, 40 quid, but yeah, we, we love it. We've changed the chair in here just cause it's a lot smaller. We have one of the gray like button back rocking chairs, um, but I've changed it for this like fleecy one. Um, and it just saves a lot of space. This was from eBay, I think. I think it was like 75 pounds. Um, but yeah, love that. Ignore this wire from the lamp. I need to I need to do something to sort that out. This is his big special bear with it's got his name and his date of birth on the paw. That was a present from grandparents when he was born. Oh, let's just sort this out. That's better. So this bookshelf was from Dunelm. I absolutely love it. We've just kept one of the shelves up there as well. It's got his little train on and his special teddy bears, his first birthday hat. Um, things like that. He's just got some like teddy bear ears on here. They were from his first birthday party. We gave them out to all the kids. Um, little wand, various little toys and books on there. Um, but he is obsessed with this. He's constantly coming in and just pulling out all his books and he sits down here looking through them all. He just he just loves books so much, guys. Um, so yeah, that was from John Elm. I think it was only about 30, 35 pounds, but it just looks really nice in here. We got rid of the chest of drawers because it just took up too much room. And then all of his clothes, luckily there is a little built-in wardrobe cupboard thing here. So we always just have his dressing gown on there. And then this is his 
wardrobe, ignore that projector box that needs to go in the loft. There's a few bits and bobs that I did not do in time for this house tour. Um, but yeah, we've got all of his little bits in these baskets. The labels were from Etsy. Um, I just love labeling, labeling my baskets, as you can tell. And yeah, all of his clothes are in there. We also have like a little shelf down here with two drawers. So all of his vests and then his like sets and sweatshirts are in there. Obviously when it was Joel's room, they were used for the things that it says on the labels, but I just haven't got around to changing the labels. So they're kind of Ruben's makeshift drawers since we sold the chest of drawers. Um, but yeah, it just creates a bit more storage in there. So yeah, that's his little wardrobe. Honestly, don't know what we would do without having that in here because there would be like no room for an actual wardrobe. And then again, he's got a set of the teeny baskets for all of his stuffed toys just on the back of his door, which looks really cute. So we only got those a few weeks ago and I just, yeah, love them. So that's Rube's little room. And then I guess it's just our room to show you guys. Um, but yeah, it's such a cute, cosy little space. I love sitting in here, putting him to bed. Um, I feel like it's my safe place because Joel, I, I felt like that when Joel was a baby as well. It's just like a nice little room to sit and have cuddle in and read stories. And I know it's small, but I, yeah, I just love this little room. It's one of my favourite rooms in the house. And then last but not least is our room. I wanted to light a candle, make it look all calm, like these house tours on here, but I just haven't. So yeah. <laughs> That's reality. Um, so obviously our bed is like the first thing you see when you walk in. I love our bed. It's one of the ones that lifts up and has the storage underneath. Um, I'm filming this a little bit later in the day now because I ran out of time to do this room, hence why it's a little bit darker. We get the sun on this room in the morning. Um, this is the only room that we have left to decorate because obviously it's still painted in like the cold white undercoat from when we bought the house five years ago. So I want to do it more of like a muted grey, similar to what's in Joel's room and and, and on our panelling in the lounge. But that will be a job at some point, hopefully between now and summer, but we'll see what time we get. So, yeah, my big bed spread, that was from dusk.com. Bedding was from dusk. Those two big black cushions were from there as well. The white, because I always get asked where my cushions are from, so I thought I just might as well just tell you. These white um, fleecy, like buccal boucle, don't know how you pronounce it, type cushions um, were from Dunelm and those two at the front were from Jade Home Interiors or something like that. Um, yeah, I love the lamps as well. We up upgraded those about a year ago. I think they were Dunelm too. They're just the touch ones, oh, which are super handy. Just got all my little sleep products, like my Sanctuary and my Neon sleep Pillow, pillow Sleep Spray retinol moisturizer cute little bits that the boys have got me um my books that i'm reading at the moment um then our wardrobes are over here so for extra storage we've just got the little boxes on top as well um but yeah i've definitely got that big bit and that bit and steve's just got that bit <laughs> that's just how it is um but yeah the wardrobes for ikea i've got all like drawers and stuff in that side as well for my makeup but i'm not going to show you because I need to sort it out. Then behind the door, I don't like this mirror. This was like a temporary solution. I want one of the black like archway mirrors from Audi, but they haven't got them in stock at the moment. So this was just a cheapy one we got off Facebook Marketplace because I wanted like a full length one for selfies, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, these are all my like straighteners, hair dryers and stuff like that. So I just sit in front of here to do my hair. Um, but yeah, I'd love the mirror sort of more out maybe in this corner, but I just don't think it would fit like lent in the corner. So it's just going to have to stay there for now. Drawers for Ikea. Obviously, we've lost the bars out of these top two. I feel like that's a really common problem with these drawers. Not that you guys care, but I'm just telling you anyway. Um, but you can order spare ones on eBay, which we've already done before. Um, so I'm going to order those. So they will be looking neat again very soon. Um, yeah. We chased the wires, put our telly into the wall just so it looks a bit neater. Um, washing basket in the corner. It's actually not overflowing for once, but it is still very much full. And we've just added this radiator cover too because it just tidies up the room really nicely. Um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. That is our bedroom. Um, looks out onto the front of the house. And yeah, that is the last room in our house. 
got my pampas, got my weekly planner here. This is what I write in to make me feel like I have my life together when I absolutely don't. Um, things that I'm grateful for this week, goals for this week, what I'm doing on each day. Um, yeah, this was from Timu actually. It was only a couple of pounds, but I like the way it's set out. You can put so much in it. So yeah, I try and do that every Sunday night moving forward from like the new year um because my head was just in the bin guys and I yeah I just needed something like this I'm just so busy all the time you're like everyone is um so yeah I just thought this would really help and it is handy to have obviously like I said at some point this year it will be painted and it won't look as cold and yeah just even a very muted color like sort of a pale very very off-white grayish color you'll be surprised like how much it changes the room it just takes that coldness away so yeah can't wait to do that later in the year so thank you so much for watching our house tour guys if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button uh, and if you've got any questions about where anything else was from just pop a comment in the comments box down below thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video